Hey, this is Bobby Rio, and I got a new video for you today. Today, we're going to be talking about the number one ingredient that makes a woman fall in love with you. And I'm going to tell you now, this ingredient is going to surprise you. You see, there's a specific process that a girl goes through when she's falling in love with you. And I call this process the love loop because it's sort of like that OCD obsessive compulsive disorder where her thoughts just keep moving towards you. Like, no matter what she tries to think about, she keeps thinking about you. Uh, it's kind of like you hijack her mind. <laughs> and uh, the more she tries to fight it, the faster and harder that she's going to fall for you. Because there's something like, even when she's trying not to think about you, it's just going to reinforce the entire process. And there's one single ingredient that makes this process happen. One ingredient that activates the entire process. And that ingredient is irrational attention. So listen closely to what I'm about to say, because when you get this, you can use it to seduce classmates, coworkers, cashiers, ex-girlfriends, women that you meet online, female friends. Uh, you can even use it to get that hard to get girl that all your friends are like drooling over uh, going after you. And here is why. Because if you can get a girl thinking about you when you're not around, you can make her fall in love with you. You might have heard me say that before. If you can get a girl thinking about you when you're not around, you can make her fall in love with you. That's the first sign. That's what triggers that I might be in love with this guy feeling. Think about the first time you realize you're in love with a girl. Generally, it's when you sit around going, Wow, I keep thinking about her. And this is because attention equals attachment. Attention equals attachment. The more time she spends thinking about you, the more attached to you she becomes. Now, it doesn't matter if she thinks you're cool, how good looking you are, what kind of job you have, or even if you're like a good talker or smooth talker. None of those things matter. The only thing that matters is that her brain is firing off thoughts about you. Now, this is why sometimes a girl will constantly be talking about how much she hates some guy, how much of an asshole he is, how you you know he always disappoints her. Yet she'll wind up dating him or sleeping him with him. And this is because she's thinking about him so much that she convinces herself she's falling in love with him. Now, it's a very simple law of science. The more you think about someone, the more attached to them you get. And this doesn't just work for people. The more you think about a certain car, the more you begin to want it. The more you think about anything, you just naturally begin to want it more. Like I said, it's a very simple law of science. You've probably felt that way about a girl. Like, she hijacked your mind. And, like, when you were away from her, you felt that unbearable tension. And I know, it sucks. That tension definitely sucks. Now, the reason for this is that attachment leads to psychic tension. She's thinking about you so much that she begins to feel a physical need to see you just to release the tension. So how do you do it? Well, fortunately, there's an odd but very effective mind game that you can use on a girl that'll sneak into her mind and have her thinking about you constantly. It basically scrambles her brain until she's convinced she's in love with you. And I put together a video where I'm going to teach it to you. I'm going to teach you how you can have her sitting around analyzing you with her friends, Googling what does it mean when he, and just all about you when you're not around and you can click the link below to check out the video and you'll learn uh, you know how to use it to turn a female friend into a girlfriend how to get her fantasizing about sleeping with you and how to take total control of her mind and also of the relationship because a lot of times she's the one in control of the relationship and she knows it and she can never really feel massive attraction to you if she knows she's the one in charge but when you use this mind game, you can flip the switch. You can take the power back. So click the link below. Check out the video where I teach you this thing called a scrambler.